Aloha. Any mortal words of Fatboy Slim right about now, the Funk Soul Brother. This is Kiev, and I'm still here. And yesterday, I believe it's under-reported, if possible, but there were 32 Iranian kamikaze drones shot down from the skies. Um, shot from the skies overhead. And uh, as we as we see the moon and, uh, tickled tenderly and pierced deeply by its lunar beams, yeah, these skies are raining down Iranian drone missiles, as if I can hate the Iranian fascistic, theocratic patriarchy any more than I already do. They're fucking shysters. Um, from Ayatollah Khomeini's infamous fatwa, in which he internationally suborned the murder of a peaceful man of letters for the crime of writing a book, exploring the relationship between uh, religious scripture and literature, and the persecution and suppression and subjugation of the Iranian, the Persian women, thenceforth. I mean, this shit's fucking sickening. Uh, yeah, 32 missiles were shot down and there was uh, some bombing near me, I wasn't to know that they certainly weren't going after the Samsung building or the banks, that was all collateral damage. It was the right opposite the train station hostel where I've been staying. It was actually the uh, ITHQ of um, Ukraine Energy that they were going for. And then thereafter, I went, I couldn't see any bomb damage. Uh, a lot of them were shot down, but there were certainly more of them that landed. And some of the ones that I heard were less than loud ones. Uh, the ones that I actually captured when I started recording in my room. The, the, one, the super loud one, I think, was uh, just over the road where the pregnant lassie was hit a week or two back. And I didn't see that reported in the English language press either. Um, I walked to my Amigas because it was New Year's Eve. Kiss 2022 goodbye. Uh, with all its pitiless and clemencies and her area was being hit too struck by shells and artillery and drones and supposedly there's a military base nearby but no there's an energy fucking power plant nearby so Putin is they are literally contravening and showing blatant disregard for the Geneva Convention and they're attacking uh, the energy infrastructure and power grids and we're here in front of uh, the Golden Palace in Kiev, St. Volodomir's and I can only hope that uh, the most notorious of Volodomir at the moment, uh, President Putin is strung up as a fucking war criminal and it's a shame that they don't execute even though I don't like capital punishment as a, an ancient barbarism he should still be strung up and hanged by the neck until dead or hung drawn and quartered you know what I mean they're saying they're only attacking military targets I've seen otherwise right opposite my hostel where the fucking drones were hitting uh, there's AK shell casings where they've not um, where they have failed to the anti-artillery barrages have not um, struck every drone from the sky and soldiers have literally been firing AK bullets. There's a fucking American journalist with a MAGA hat in his room who just chain smokes and drinks vodka all day. And he's got a stash of AK bullets and you can rummage around and find the shell casings, the spent shell casings. This shit is real. Uh, they are committing war crimes. They are crimes against humanity. They're attacking civilian targets and the energy infrastructure of the country. And... Again, not to regurgitate my own spiel, although the great socialists and journalists, Karl Marx, Leon Trotsky and George Orwell did likewise. They regurgitated their, their best lines too and rehashed them. But I can only wish that the George Galloways and Dr. Petersons and Edward Snowdens and all these pseudo-intellectuals, I wish that they could be brought here and forced to clean up the fucking detritus and, uh, you know, the detritus of human destruction. It's always an instructive experience when you have to clear up dead bodies. And and these fucking pseudo-intellectual scumbag shysters have literally joined psychopathically 
and psychotically joined the uh, the ranks of the frivolous, the Russell Brands of the world. And I'd like to puncture all their egos and puncture their lungs. These people are scumbags, talking head whores, whoring for prominence. They're no better than Johan Hari, from tainted hack to talking head, talking Ted. These people, their words have the solidity of wind and it is nothing but masochism offered by sadists. And they're whoring. These whores would pay for the pleasure of selling themselves and they're doing it for purely for their own prominence. And uh, no Passaran, Passaremos from Kyiv. And I'm looking forward to being on Kazivaki. If I can't be a soldier, then, you know, at least I can be useful. All right, no Passaran, Passaremos. Down with Putin. Only fools are fucking certain. B.I.H. Of these fucking cunt asses. Slava Ukraini. No doubt. And for the victories of evil to not be predetermined, we must resist always.